In this video, we will discuss adding boundaries to a surface. If you'd like to follow along with the video, please open the file 050 Adding Boundaries to a Surface.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this Dataset video. Civil 3D allows you to add boundaries to a surface. The types of boundaries that you can add are outer, show, hide, or data clip. An outer boundary is used to bound the entire surface. However, the surface data outside the boundary is still technically in the drawing. A hide boundary would be used to hide an area that you do not want to triangulate, such as a pond, a building, etc. A show boundary is used to show the inside of a hide boundary, but can also be used to show render materials. A data clip boundary will actually remove the surface data outside the boundary from the drawing and is very useful if you are using point files to create your surface as the actual point file data will not be included in the drawing. So let's go ahead and zoom into our building area, which is at the end of our roadway towards the beginning of the bridge here. And let's say we want to hide the contours within this building as they are not necessary. So we'll expand our surfaces category, go to the EG surface, expand definition, and right click on the boundaries category and select add. Always a good idea to give it a name, so we'll just say building. And in this case, this will be a hide boundary. But notice the different options available. When non destructive break lines is turned on, it will actually allow the triangulation to occur right to the boundary, even if data does not exist next to that boundary. If you toggle this off, it will only use the data inside the surface. So we'll toggle this on as we do want it to triangulate to the actual building line itself. The mid ordinate distance is useful for curved data. It'll add tighter triangles and make a more accurate surface. I'll click OK and I'll simply select my figure, press Enter, and just like that, it has created a hide boundary where the contours will not display, nor will the triangles. Let's go ahead and bound our entire surface. So let's say we only want to deal with the roadway on this side of the surface. I already have a predefined boundary object, which is just a 2D polyline. And that's what makes this functionality really cool is you actually do not need a 3D polyline or a 3D object. You can simply use a 2D object and it'll automatically triangulate to that object using the surface elevations. I'll press escape to clear my selection set. I'll right click on boundaries, select add, and we'll call this one exterior boundary. This is a outer boundary. And in this case, we'll toggle off non-destructive so it'll only use the data within the actual surface. I'll change my mid oriented distance to 0.5 to make it a little tighter around curves and so on. Click OK. I'll zoom in and select my object. And notice how the actual triangulation does not go to the actual exterior boundary object. It goes to the closest surface data that's in the actual surface. And just like that, we have bound the surface. Note, the information is still in the file and we could unbound the surface by simply deleting it or turning it off in the surface properties, which we will discuss later on. This concludes this video discussing adding boundaries to a surface.